Next, I'd like to show you the use of the barcode settings menu in order to customize the interpretation of barcodes on board the icon. So from the main startup menu, press the settings button, then select the barcode tab. When it turns blue to indicate you've selected that tab. The first selection on the menu is the barcode type. On that drop-down menu, there are three choices, validation, PMSS, and count only. Validation is used when you have a validation barcode added to your prescription label supplied by your pharmacy management software system. So that barcode can typically contain the NDC RX number and quantity. And this selection is saying, I will be scanning those types of barcodes. And when you select that, the next uh, box here shows the RX barcode pattern, which tells the icon how to interpret which of those numbers is located where within that long barcode. Typically, when you're going to set that up, you will simply call Icon Tech Support at this number and we'll walk you through the process. We're familiar with the different software systems and we can figure one out from scratch if we need to. The next setting, PMSS, for a pharmacy management software system, is used when you have an interface between the icon and your software within your pharmacy. So you select this if you have that interface, in which case the pharmacy system will send out all the prescription data to the icon as each prescription is released. There is no additional setup required for that menu. The last choice is count only. For the small number of pharmacy management systems that are unable to apply a validation barcode onto your prescription label, the icon still allows you to capture the RX number that you're dispensing with this feature. So if you select count only, then down in the count only barcode menu, you specify the length of a barcode that exists on your prescription label so that the icon knows when that type of barcode is being scanned. So in this case, I've got it set for seven. So whenever I'm in the count mode screen, if I scan a seven digit barcode, it will assume that's the RX number barcode and it will store that RX number with the transaction information for the prescription being dispensed. So the test mode is used with the validation. So if we go back to validation, after you've configured this selection, you can press the test mode button and then scan a barcode. The icon shows you the entire string of numbers that were scanned in that barcode, and then it shows you how it has broken down that barcode into its various components. If that breakdown looks correct, then your barcode settings are proper, and you can go ahead and use that icon in the validation mode. Press exit to get out of that menu, and OK, and you've completed your barcode setup.